DNB system amplifiers provide dedicated setups for all DNB loudspeakers. These contain specific limiters, EQs, and additional configuration options. The setups and all associated functions can be accessed from the channel's setup screen. Tap a channel button on the home screen to open its setup screen. The channel name and mute button are located in the header section of the screen. To edit a channel's name, tap it and use the keyboard for changes. Confirm your entry with OK or Cancel Changes by tapping the Back button to return to the channel screen. The first line of controls shows the so-called configuration switches and a level control. EQ and delay functions can be accessed from the line underneath. The EQ button indicates whether the EQ stage is active. Tap it to open the EQ screen. Next to the EQ, you can find the delay controls. Besides an on-off toggle, there are fields for the delay value and the delay unit, which can be set to milliseconds, meters, feet or seconds. To change any of them, just tap the field and use the rotary encoder. Any change in delay value takes effect immediately. The button in the next line takes you to the input routing matrix. It also displays which inputs are currently routed to the channel. All inputs can be routed freely to any channel of the amplifier. You can route only one input or the sum of several inputs. Please keep in mind that summing of signals can result in a level increase. Use the channel's level control to compensate if necessary. The channel view also provides access to system check and load monitoring. These are advanced functions that we will not cover in this episode. The speaker button indicates which loudspeaker setup is currently active on this channel. Tap it to open the speaker setup screen. There are two options to recall a loudspeaker setup. You can first select the series to narrow down the selection and then change to the speaker field to select the specific model. Just as well, you can leave the series selector on all and go directly to the speaker field. It will offer all models that are compatible with the current output mode. Let's recall the setup for a V8 line loudspeaker. First, select V-Series in the Series field and then switch to the Speaker field and turn the encoder to scroll to V8 line. There are now two possible options to confirm your choice. OK will recall the loudspeaker setup and will keep all user-made adjustments, for example EQ and delay. Clear will recall the speaker setup, but at the same time Reset the channel. The reset includes all configuration switches, all EQ and delay settings and load monitoring. The channel's level will be set to 0 dB and the channel will be muted. Sometimes you might want to adjust parameters on multiple channels simultaneously. This is what the channel linking option is for. It can be engaged for EQ and or delay provided that the output mode is set to dual channel or mixed top sub mode. Finally, there also is a frequency generator. It is a useful tool to check the cabling to the loudspeaker and the connected loudspeaker itself without having to connect an external signal source. Each amplifier channel is equipped with its own independent generator, which can be set to sign or pink noise. You can toggle the generator and control its level and the frequency in case of the sign tone.